is going on guys with the introduction of the Pokemon Let's Go Pikachu and Pokemon Let's Go Eevee leaks that came up recently. Everyone in the whole wide world, well really just the Pokemon community has been covering this like crazy. So I thought I'd give you uh, my take on it. We're going to do pros and cons uh, and then we'll go from there I guess. Now, before anyone goes downvoting the video or just saying that I'm copying someone else, let's not be too quick to talk about who's copying whom, okay? Hmm. Hmm. Everyone's gonna be covering the same general information until the game's release, and then even when it gets released, we're gonna be covering the same information right anyway i wanted to talk about this tweet from pixel par saying pokemon let's go pikachu and pokemon let's go eevee have now been registered via csc digital brand services this is the company that the pokemon company international and nintendo use to protect brand domains both point to the same named server and contain a blank favicon credit to poke Alos for finding them uh so to me, this is looking more and more like a reality. I don't know how accurate those leaks that we saw from the other day are going to be, but I think it's safe to say at this point that we're going to have to sort of come to terms with the fact that this is going to be our future. Now, I could be wrong. Everyone could be wrong. This could all be fake, but it's looking very, very possible. So. I want to start off in this video with the cons and then we can go to the pros because I want to end the video on a positive note because after all we all love Pokemon and that's why we're all here, right? One of the downsides to me would be the Pokemon Go integration. I'm not a big fan of the battling in Pokemon Go or the way that you have to catch Pokemon in Pokemon Go. Now that's not to say that I don't like Pokemon Go. I love Pokemon Go. I have a great time with Pokemon Go. In terms of a main series game, it's not something that I would feel comfortable saying, yes, this is uh, this is canon, or yeah, this is a main series game. I like Pokemon spin-offs. I've played a ton of Pokemon spin-offs. I stream Pokemon all the time, and I've even streamed Pokemon Conquest. I love Pokemon Conquest. Uh, Pokemon Stadium, I, I, I love those games. Colosseum, Gale of Darkness, right? But something about Pokemon Go, I think it's because it's just so commercial and so... Uh, simple and um i don't know i i, I guess it's I, i'm i'm being kind of a pokemon snob but it, it i was kind of depressed when i heard that there would be pokemon go integration and that there would be a new device and that there would be incentives for merging your pokemon go and your let's go pikachu slash let's go eevee accounts or whatever however you're gonna do that but that got me to thinking, and I mentioned this on stream, what about Pokemon moves? How is the battle system going to be if catching Pokemon is the same as Pokemon Go? Now, I know what you're probably thinking. Well, you probably have a normal battle, and then catching it, you got to do the little diddly do and fling Pokeballs at the Pokemon, which for me would be fine. I actually enjoy that aspect of uh, catching Pokemon in Pokemon Go. The little skill circle thing, yeah, that's fine. Feeding them berries to calm them down. I just don't like um, the going around and finding the Pokemon, clicking on it, encountering it, you catch it, and then it's done. Uh, but thinking about it now, I can't believe I've actually never thought this, but you might actually have a proper battle, and then afterwards, if you want to catch it, it goes into the Pokemon Go system. Which also brings me to experience. Um, and I think a lot of people are super focused on Pokemon Go because that was the biggest shock factor, right? When we found out all of this stuff would be related somehow to Pokemon Go, everyone's knee-jerk reaction was either love it or hate it. And um, I don't know how I feel about that. To be perfectly honest, as I said, I love Pokemon Go, but when it comes to stuff like experience for Pokemon and, and how you're going to encounter Pokemon, I don't really want to walk around in sort of like a Dragon Quest type environment and see the enemies or the, not the enemies, but the Pokemon on screen. That to me would take away the random encounter aspect of it. I mean, it would be cool if you see a shiny in the overworld to go run after it. That would be kind of cool, but the negatives of it are if you're in, especially if this is going to be in Kanto, if you're in Rock Tunnel, all you're ever going to see are Zubat all over the place. It's safe to say that I have a lot of questions about how they're going to incorporate this into Pokemon Go, the new Pokemon Go device, 
and how you're going to tie your two uh, accounts together. Now, the second con for me is that it's going to be in Canto. Not because I don't like Canto, I love Canto. I could play through uh, Red and Blue all day long every day and, and be happy. That I, I love doing stuff like that. I love playing through Red and Blue and then putting it in Pokemon Stadium and beating Pokemon Stadium and then putting all the Pokemon that I get as rewards back into Pokemon Red and Blue, right? I love that sort of stuff. But can't we get something new? I get that Kanto is a huge point of nostalgia for a lot of Pokemon fans, and that's largely why Pokemon Go was so successful to begin with, is because everyone who hadn't played Pokemon in a long time, hey, there's a Pokemon app on my phone that I could just go and catch them, and it's not very complicated, it's super simplified, and anyone can get into it. That's why it was so uh, successful, right? But now when you think about Pokemon Go versus main series Pokemon games, it's, it's, it's widely different. And the main series super duper fanboys over here are going to be like, why do we have to take a hit to please the normies over here? And the normies over here are just like, Ree! so I don't know. I don't know where I stand with that. Uh, apparently it's going to be years into the future and Kalos, I mean Kalos. Apparently it's going to be years into the future and Kanto is somehow changed and red and blue are in it, but you are not red and your rival's not blue, you're completely new characters and Pokemon follow you around and it's this new experience, but I don't know. It seems like they wouldn't attach the name of Kanto to the leaks or any of the information if it didn't play a critical role. And I don't really want Kanto to play a critical role, I'd, I'd prefer if it just... I don't know. I don't know. So anyway, those are my cons, I guess. I don't really consider them cons, it's just things that make me kind of uneasy about the future of the, the Pokemon franchise and where it's going, if this is true. Again, these are just very, 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 very possible leaks. Um, so let's go on to the pros. Hey, we get a new Pokemon game. I'm super excited about that. When Ultra Sun and Ultra Moon came out, I played it for probably 30 minutes, which is about as long as it took me to beat the game after playing Sun and Moon, and then I was done. And there's no news, and there's nothing cool about it, and it's just Sun and Moon Plus. Yay! Anyway, I'm glad that we're getting a new game, and I'm glad that it's on the Switch. For so long, I wanted to upload Pokemon content onto my channel, and it was so difficult because unless I want to pay $500 to get a capture card on my 3DS, or hack a ROM thingy and download a bunch of viruses and all this crap, I just wasn't able to do it, or at least consistently and, you know, high quality. And so finally, we can play a main series Pokemon game on a console and everyone can become a Poketuber. Everyone can upload their favorite Pokemon moments. Hopefully Nintendo doesn't start striking down everyone's channels. But this is something for me as a YouTuber or content creator, I'm very excited about because I don't have to jump through hoops to do all sorts of stupid crap to just upload Pokemon content. Now I can just turn on my Switch and play. And we can all enjoy the same experience together on console now a lot of you probably don't have a switch that's totally fine I specifically got a switch for an upcoming Pokemon title because when they said this is gonna be the last Pokemon 3ds game I was like it's time to get a switch so I, I cracked open my piggy bank and I got a switch but that's neither here nor there anyway it's gonna be on switch yes let's go I can take this out to the park and play with everybody else IRL maybe go out in the sunlight you know trade Pokemons with the 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 freaking crackheads on the corner <laughs> anyway uh, other pros include the graphics I guess a lot of people have said the graphics are gonna be a mixture of Sun and Moon and a watered-down version of Pokken uh, which is pretty exciting for me because I love Pokken graphics if you haven't seen the graphics in Pokken tournament what are you doing go at least look at some screenshots on Google or something but I think that that would be very interesting to finally have a super high res, well not super high res, watered down high res version of Pokemon. That would be awesome. And that's another reason why, kind of going back to cons, I wouldn't be excited to see it in Kanto. I want to see a new region. I don't want to see old regions reimagined. We've seen so much of that. I want to see something new. Give us something new in high res that take, takes risks and and 
anyway you guys get the idea but the graphics are a huge pro for me and I'm very excited about that uh, other pros include poke ride is essentially gonna be there Pokemon are gonna follow you so no more HMs and we get to turn around and talk to our Pokemon so that's a plus uh, we're not gonna be red or blue there's new characters it seems like there's gonna be a new storyline I don't know and I don't think anyone does aside from the insider leakers who are part of the Pokemon Illuminati but what I'm saying is I'm very excited for this game and I want to leave it on a high note and I, I, I don't want you guys to think that I'm just negative Nancy over here crapping on the game and that I, I don't uh, want to buy it and play it or, or I'm not excited for it. I'm super excited for it, okay? I'm gonna get it. I'm gonna upload new Pokemon content on my channel as soon as it comes out. Um, but anyway, until then, if you guys like this video, make sure to leave it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to comment if you feel so inclined, and subscribe to get updates on all of my newest content drops. And you can only do that if you turn the notification bell on. I know it sucks, it's a chore, but if you want to get updates on all of my newest content drops, that's how you can do that. So, you guys, let me know down in the comment section below. Are you excited for this? Are you not excited for this? Are you even going to worry about buying it now that they mentioned Pokemon Go? Or are you even more excited now that it involves Pokemon Go? And if you're going to downvote this video because my Pokemon videos mysteriously within 20 minutes of uploading always get a downvote, leave a comment why you downvoted, bro. Don't be a coward. Anyway, you guys have been great. I have been the Danger Moss, and I will see you next time.